coming into 2022 like <laughs> Starting off the week with some yoga as per usual. Okay. Afternoon loves. It's January 2nd, Sunday, starting off the weekend. Starting off the week, actually. All the days are like mulled into one for me, but we're starting off the week with a little bit of a yoga sesh. Coming in slowly. I came on too strong yesterday. My arms are still sore. My toe hurts. I said, how did I do that? I was really doing the most in that gym yesterday. First out of three or four run throughs. I usually go through my whoa, what what? I usually go through my vlogs at least three or four times. The last time is when I put the music over top, any parts that need it. I still have an hour and fifty-four minutes. No one's gonna watch a two hour vlog from me. So we have to get this down to 20 to 30 minutes. What am I gonna do? What's your girl gonna do? Coming into 2022, like. <laughs> I ordered this with the other set, but for some reason, the bay feels like sending everything separately. Don't know why they do that, but I already have this towel and I wanted to get two to match and they were 50% off. Yeah, I think it was 50% off. I ordered a whole bunch of I am really bad. I use hand towels, rags to wipe my face off in the morning and night. So a lot of them have makeup stains, no matter how many times I wash them. Eyeliner makes it look a little dingy. So I wanted to get a fresh set and then one for guests. Calvin Klein came through with the quality. This box is a coat and this box is a coat. You know, I live in Canada and it gets cold. January's no joke. It was already freezing rain yesterday. Like, happy new year. This is what I think it is that I'm so excited with. Oh my, guys. Okay. Online, I saw this, but it was sold out everywhere. They said they were gonna attempt to order it, but they doubted that it would be fulfilled since it showed one in the warehouse. And usually, if you work in retail, you know one usually means none. But I guess, the coat fairies came through because look, oh my gosh. I've heard very good things about this brand. I mean, it's quite pricey, but the way I look at it, when you're Canadian, a coat is an investment. It's something that you're going to use maybe not six months out of the year because it's not Arctic weather that long, but when it's cold, cold, which is usually about three or four months a year, you're gonna need a coat. And my goose, I had for 11 years. It got faded, I sent it in, I thought I had a lifetime warranty. They lied. And another thing, being so tiny, it's hard to get a coat that fits proper, eh? I kept saying, well, we have black. I never buy black coats. <laughs> Ever since I worked in coat check, you know how hard it is when someone loses a ticket and they, I ask them what color is your coat and they say black, I say lost cause. And I can't tell them to go in because I can't tell you how many times people lied and stole an expensive coat because that's how people in Toronto do. This one is another one, but I think I'm gonna return this one. Winter is not optional here in this country. I knew I had to budget for a coat before I quit my job. I've avoided like the plague buying their outerwear for years, even though they always have nice pieces. If you ever notice, my hauls are really choppy because I edit out the parts where I'm opening the boxes. Cause I just, I find it annoying when I'm editing. So I can only imagine for you guys with the crackling. Point is, same with the black coat conundrum. I don't like buying a coat in a style that everyone has, but I couldn't resist with this because it looks so good and it actually came in a double XS. When Aritzia says they do oversized, they really mean it. And oversized on me looks like a whale size. It just swallows me up. It's not a good look. Like some girls can pull off the oversized and it looks so chic. This right here is a moment but I might have to return this moment because I, I budgeted for that, but not for this. This is definitely giving everything that needed to be gave. It was between this and a cream color, which would have killed, okay? But it was sold out everywhere. The vibe is keeping money in my account right now though. If you ever watch my Instagram stories, yes, I do stand on my sofa to look in this mirror because it's the only mirror I've got.
talk for a year like this. I don't have New Year's resolutions, but I did want to be in bed by midnight. It is now five to one. My video is still not done uploading. I figured I'd clean out the fridge in the meantime, but uh, this situation, so far, and I just started five seconds ago, all this stuff gotta go. I don't know how I let all these things go bad. Pumpkin spice? This has been here since Halloween. Why is it still here? Where they do that at? I don't know what's up with this fridge. You know you hear it rumbling when I do videos and it interrupts me. It keeps some things so cold that it's icicles, but other things not cold enough that they've spoiled on me. The fridge is not old. It was brand new when I moved in. I don't know what's going on. I hate this thing. See what I mean? It just turned off. Why is it turning on again? For someone who likes to be organized, this is a catastrophe. Still struggling to swallow my magnesium in 2022. What we're gonna do is go to the gym. I haven't been to my gym here in this year. My arms are still sore from the gym sesh you saw in the last vlog. So I'm gonna do a little bit of arms, abs, and cardio. Come back up because it's well into the day. I slept in way too late. Too embarrassed to say what time it is, but let's go. Waking up to dog piss in the elevator. Lovely. I put concealer on first or second or both. Today we're gonna to film at least two videos, maybe three if I'm feeling fancy. But the first video is gonna be about how to kickstart your sightless year positively. I don't know about you, but I need a little boost of motivation, especially with the recent news that we're going into lockdown again. I'm going to get more opinionated this year about these things, okay? So here are my thoughts. If lockdown one, two, three, and four have not done what they needed to do, what's this lockdown supposed to do? I thought the vaccinations were supposed to prevent another lockdown. I don't understand what's going on. Very disappointing. The first Monday of the month, the first Monday of the year, this is how we're starting off in Toronto. You know when parents lie to you when you're like, are we almost there yet? And you're nowhere near and they say yes. It's kind of like that. Or one more bite. It's like one more shot. <laughs> this is getting ridiculous now. Now, I didn't want the vaccine in the first place, but I thought I was doing my part in society because it's not about me. It's not even about my city. It's about the globe at this point. But seeing how other countries have handled this way better than we have, I just, I don't know. I feel like we're just back at square one, except we know where we are now. It's different when you go through this the first time or the second time and you have no idea and you're just like, okay. But now it's just like, we did this before and what did it do? Someone, if I'm wrong, correct me, please. I'm always willing to be schooled, but this really doesn't make any sense. I would understand a complete full lockdown like they did in New Zealand and Australia. Lock up everything. Don't let people in. Why are people still allowed to travel? Why are you still allowed to go to the mall? Coming from a shopaholic. How are the malls at 50% capacity, but small businesses that could never house 5% of a mall's capacity not allowed to open? And restaurants, no indoor dining, how convenient is that? Since no one's gonna be eating outside in the Arctic weather we have ahead. I say they're playing in our faces. In the last two weeks, I've known four people to test positive. Luckily, all of them, thank God, knock on something, have been okay. Same symptoms as a min minor cold, not as bad as a flu. That may just be an anomaly or just be their luck and everyone, that got sick was already vaccinated. So for anyone who's saying, oh, they're not vaccinated, they deserved it. Cause I hate when people say that. No one deserves to get sick and die. It doesn't matter if you make a choice, that's your choice. But I don't believe you need to get sick and die from this. I think that's so insensitive. Not everyone got the om. I'm gonna call it that. Om, cause Omarion didn't do anything to anyone. I returned the taupe colored coat. I know it's oversized, but it was still a little too oversized for me. Felt like I was swimming in it. I had to battle the boy who was taking the return. Of course, I kept it classy because I've been in retail, but I told them, you know, I asked the person who I ordered it from if I'm okay to return it. She said, yes. I said, are you sure? Because usually Aritzia, when things are marked down, even $5, everything's final sale. 
still committed to telling me that usually the company doesn't do returns. And I said, yes, I know. I wouldn't be asking for one if I didn't ask her twice. dinner i was so hungry i didn't even show you the final result but you've seen it i've cooked it many times before i'm just watching Aaliyah's face and i'm transferring all of my birthdays into my new agenda i really wish i bought an agenda that was 2022 instead of september 21 to end of 2022 because this right here i can't cut it out because it's gonna affect the binding but look how big that is oh well it's I liked the fact that I could actually see the numbers on this calendar, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm on, okay. So, I probably shouldn't be doing this in the dark. Now that Vlogmas has been over, I can take down my soft box. Ha, bet you thought I was gonna say tree. She done got a tree. There's no space in this studio apartment for a tree. Funny, I didn't know all these years that as a Christian, you're not supposed to have a Christmas tree. It counts as a false idol. The things you know when you click on YouTube channels. And I wanted to film another one, but I feel like I should plan it out more so I don't fumble over my words. But look, we just got here. Me and the packages. Ooh, wait, it's dirty. It shouldn't be on my bed. Don't mind the mess. When is there not chaos? Oh, this is not nice. I thought it was gonna be soft. You know, I like the gray vibe, so I wanted to switch out my bath mat since I've had the same bath mat for five years, even though I've lived here for three years. I bought it two years before I moved out. This one's nice and sophisticated, and it perfectly matches a towel that I got two weeks ago. It was on sale. Don't know if I'll keep it though. Very adorable, but I wanted a more mature mat. Faded household. Ooh, it feels nice. Hey, hey. I need to stop wasting time. I need to edit that video because we're going skating tonight and I need to upload and render before I leave. These are all the ones from 2021. <laughs> like much of a morning it looks like nighttime which could actually be a good thing because there's a get ready with me that involves being ready at nighttime that i could do right here at Bathurst, to go get some biotin before the freezing rain really kicks in. Found the biotin. If I remember right, 10,000 micrograms. Half of that's just gonna be wasted because your body doesn't absorb more than 5,000. But I think I've also bought 1,000 before. So I'm deciding between this one this one and when I zoomed in I think this one's the same so decisions decisions I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need while I'm still here because this is out of the way for me but this is the best health food store in Toronto oh gosh this is the same thing that the guy in Kenton had recommended I break hear that wind out there it's actually not so bad when you're out in it or maybe I just live so close to the station and where I got the supplements is also close. When I was in the subway, I'm like, should I? Should I? I guess I am. And this lady was going to put it in a plastic bag. I don't know why they gave me McDonald's coupons because I don't need that. But I wanted to get some patties because I haven't had these in so long. I don't, I think she overcharged me. Either that or the pandemic prices are really getting to companies, but Initially, she was just gonna put in a paper bag and I said, no, I'm gonna refrigerate these. Can you put them in a proper box? And then she taped that. Like I said, sometimes you gotta speak up for yourself. Cause people, I have that face, people try to play with me. A little later. 
late night snack, macaroni pie, and a little jerk chicken. Me fighting with this knit top again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear it for one of the videos I'm doing. I might switch, because the perfume one, I wanna look nice and classy, sophisticated. I feel so much more like myself now. I really scrubbed my scalp. You always gotta make sure your scalp is clean. I'm gonna have magnesium. I need to commit to finishing this. Commit. How many do you think is left in there? Probably 20. Too many. These are so chalky. I already have such a hard time smelling pills. Ugh. As per usual, the sun is moving on your girl. I got pear in my teeth. It's so good. Pear is such a good fruit. Underrated, I tell you. It's never too sweet. I've never had a pear where I'm like, Oop, what's going on with this? Pears and cherries. Although sometimes you can have a really sour cherry. Let me just make sure that I'm set up by, hey. <sighs> I didn't even check my shots to make sure I'm in focus or in frame. I'm, I was talking too much. You know those days when you're just like, I don't want to hear my voice anymore. I'm going to go grocery shopping. I don't know if I'll go to Farm Boy. The building gave every unit a $50 gift card. I said, that's perks of living in this place. Or maybe I'll go to Metro. <sighs> no frills is too far away today. Ironically enough, I'm supposed to post a TikTok about no frills, but I want to bother with that. So maybe I'll go to Metro or Farm Boy. We'll see. I want to, maybe I'll go to Farm Boy because I want to make fish tonight. Fish went up again. Got in and the DHL do just buzz. Thanks. Aloe doesn't play. When they say express, they mean it. I ordered this yesterday morning. We're on some Amazon Prime type of time. Before I show you that, my oven just went off. I gotta start dinner. I got some bok choy, which I might not make tonight. I think I'm feeling more like asparagus. We'll see. This is a salmon. Yo, them prices. They didn't have oat milk on sale, so I decided to get sweet cream coconut. So good, and it's been out of stock for months. I've been looking for this since September. My favorite hot cocoa. One of my friend coworkers got this for me as part of a gift last year, obsessed ever since. The black bean fettuccine that I accidentally threw out today. I need more anyway. Mushrooms, I swear, broccoli. Mushrooms are my favorite vegetables. How about you? They didn't have coconut yogurt, so I went with vanilla. All the other flavors suck. Key lime, don't even try that. This is the 2022 vibe. I've been telling myself for two years that I want an aloe yoga peach set. They drop every Tuesday, and I took myself off the newsletter because it was too much temptation. They finally dropped. This is technically their first drop of 2022. My prayers have been answered. The angels heard me. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. They've launched pink 75 times, 20 different types of greens, three different types of blues, red every season two, but never a nice peachy hue. They had that really electric orange, but it was giving oranges a new black kind of orange. But this, they also had a bomber and I was like, mm, a peach bomber, but mm -mm. I had a peach set from Aritzia. I love me Aritzia, but the quality, no. I hand washed that ish and the seams were still coming out. Then my stepdad put in the washing machine with blacks. I don't know why he did that, but it's been this cringy muted orange with a tinge of gray. It looks dirty every time I wear it. I wear them, people are like, oh my gosh, the pockets on the side are so smart. I said, this is worth the price. It pills a little bit depending on what you wear it with, but if I wear this as I want to, as a set, I think it'll be okay, especially since I've had the other leggings for over a year now, and they've been holding up and they're a dark navy color, this light color should last me even longer. I find dark colors fade and don't look as good. So listen, this set is gonna have me slaying at these streets, but I never used to be into hoodies. In fact, before the panorama began, I had this one hoodie for the last decade. Since then, this one's my fourth one. And I already know it's maybe my favorite because it's it's the color for me. Let me get back into the swing of the evening process. I need to make my potatoes, pop them in the oven, start to cook my fish. I wanna learn to make meatballs. I'm sure they're easy, but it's the mess of it. Maybe I should buy them pre-made from Farm Boy next time I go.
so little, but it should be. That's the energy we're coming into. It's matcha and yoga time. Smoothie time. It is such a sunny day. I want to film. But I already filmed two videos to yesterday, so I'm actually ahead of schedule. What do you think about the set? This is too nice to work out in. Like, I should do a hack video on how to keep your clothes fresh no matter what. That's what I should do. I'm gonna make a, my usual, usual, I'm telling you, never gets old. Sync with your Google Calendar so it puts it when someone is oh, automatically? It puts it in. Yeah. Yeah, I did, clearly. Oh, wait. <laughs> I have a bad habit of always hanging up on people. Oh, I need to get better at that. Sorry, yeah, sorry. I'm bad. <sighs> you know you've been sitting for a while when your butt falls asleep, but dun 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 dun. I finished tonight's video. It should have been up two hours ago, but we're not gonna talk about that. At least it's done. Unlike 2021, sometimes I post a video a whole day late. A couple hours, that's okay. You can see there's a little leg of the tripod because I'm going to come back and film. But first, while my video is rendering, we're going to move the plants out of... Uh, uh, this one probably needs some love and water and misting and everything. But I try to give them some extra sunlight by having them by the windowsill. But since the sun is going down, and I'm about to go out to get some supplies because David's coming over. Hey, 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 hey. So I'm gonna get the same thing I got the last time I made the shikuri board. Maybe I'll freak it with a different type of cold cut. I don't know. I don't know if he likes blue cheese. Not a lot of people like blue cheese. So I'll just get the champagne soaked one since that one seems to be a crowd pleaser. All right, got the cold cuts, time for the cheese. I've gotta zoom in to see what I'm gonna get. Uh, where's the number? Oh, no thank you. We don't want that number. I'm so confused. Is there something wrong with this? There's like a super long line over there. And no one's in line over here. Mm. Alright, there you go. Perfect. Thank you. Have a, Have a good night. Mm -hmm. okay. I think I got that last time. I also want to do a video. So, what should the wine angel show you guys tonight but also sip later on? I told you the lady that served me last time was in a bad mood. I could already tell from the packaging. This guy did 10,000 times better. Put it on my tab and then tell your friends all the fun you had. Finally, I am back. Did you have a very strong opinion about being submissive? Go ahead. What, what did you have to say? What did you have to say? I just took my magnesium and I feel like it's just sitting here in my throat. Before, everything was so chaotic. It was a lot of fun. I woke up this morning at 6 a.m. I said, nope. Went back to sleep. It's a Saturday. Nobody needs to be up that early. When I got up for real for real, I looked around and like, thank past Alicia for cleaning up before she went to bed because that would have been a chaotic mess this morning. If you're watching this around the time that this video comes out, not far in the future, this is 50% off right now, which is unheard of. I don't know what's going on with Sephora. Not complaining though. Waiting for my story time to render. I'm going back to fix the thumbnail for yesterday's video and today's video. I think it's time that I put the rice to boil, at least set it up in the rice cooker because I'm starting to get hungry. It's so weird, like I'm craving a really good soup. Maybe I'll make the chicken dumpling soup, but I made that two weeks ago. And I also don't have any thawed chicken, so, or celery. I have potatoes. Oh, you know I should try to do potato soup. I heard that's really good. I'm just making a fajita bowl with black rice. I figured let's keep it healthy. But I was also craving Mexican, so I was like, you know, we'll just add some seasoning in there. So we're gonna wrap up the vlog here since I want to start editing it so it can be up by tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm gonna show you guys or do next week. It's all up in the air with everything being closed. But as I always say, just stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.